Are you watching news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. Leveling high allegations against uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav's family, Ashwarya Rai, the daughter-in-law of RJD chief Lalu Prasad Yadav, today claimed that she was pushed out of Lalu's house where she was staying despite the divorce petition filed by Misa Bharti. While speaking to media, she alleged that she was uh, misbehaved by Misa Bharti and Rabri Devi, adding further, she said that she has been denied food at in-law's house and also was not allowed to enter the kitchen. BJP Central Election Committee holds meet ahead of Maharashtra and Haryana Assembly elections to finalize the list of candidates. The meeting will be held at the party headquarters in New Delhi. PM Modi, Amit Shah and JP Nadda were present at the meeting. As the onion prices soared, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry today prohibited the export of all varieties of the bulb with the immediate effect. The central government has also stepped in to give relief to consumers from high prices of offloading 50,000 tons of buffer stock of onion across the country. The current onion prices is a fallout of a last year's uh, drought as well as flood situation in states like Maharashtra, Bihar and Karnataka. Blaming former PM Jawaharlal Nehru, once again Union Home Minister Amit Shah today said that Nehru was responsible for the prolonged problems in Jammu and Kashmir. He said that the decision to take the Kashmir to the United Nehru was individually taken by Jawaharlal Nehru. Also while defending the government's move of scrapping Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir, Shah said there were no restrictions imposed in Kashmir while hitting out at the opposition for spreading misinformation about the situation in the valley. PM Modi returned from a week-long trip to U.S. Thousands of people gathered at the New Delhi's Palam Airport yesterday evening to give him a warm welcome. While delivering a speech upon his arrival, PM Modi praised soldiers on the third anniversary of the surgical strike conducted by the army in 2016 on terrorist camps in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. He said he didn't sleep at all that night. With just a day left for the nomination for the bipoles in several Lok Sabha and Assembly constituencies, the Congress today announced its candidates for the bipoles of one parliamentary constituency in Bihar and four legislative assemblies in Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. The Congress has named Sayada Banu from Bihar's Kishanganj Assembly constituency, Rita Chaudhary from Rajasthan's Mandava, Harendra Mirda from Kivsar, and Manu Dervi from Uttar Pradesh's Balha Assembly seat. On the first day of Navratra, the BJP announced the names of its candidates for the by-elections to 32 assembly constituencies spread across the several states scheduled to be held on October 21st. The names have been finalized by the Central Election Committee of the BJP. Amid heavy downpour at three districts in Bihar, rains has claimed the lives of at least 24 people. The IMD has predicted more rains in the next 24 hours. The state government has issued a red alert. The Water Resources Department has alerted the concerned officials and asked the district authorities to take measures to deal with any possibility. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.